Hello and welcome to this presentation from EasyLog. This video covers our staff scheduling software and provides an overall view of some of the key functionality within the product. So let's start with a look at the scheduling screen which is what you can see on screen at the present. As you can see we're only looking at a couple of job functions that's the senior care assistants and care assistants from this example from a care home. There's a simple menu function down the side here to allow you to add in whatever job functions you wish to see uh, on screen. You also can see across the top here different tabs. These tabs show you alternative views of the rotor. So for example you might want to look at a particular employee view and therefore the employee is selected at the top here and then we can see on this 24 hour grid from Monday through to Sunday the shifts that the person is working on and the actual rate they're being paid on those particular days. We can also then hop back to the rotor view, which is what I would call perhaps the more traditional view, showing you the job functions and who's working within those job functions. And then we have a shift view, which allows you to look at both those job functions together and just see the people listed within both those job functions down the side of the screen. As we can scroll down here. Let's go back to the rotor view. As probably you're aware already, you can see if you put your cursor on a particular shift, further details about that in terms of the times of the shift, obviously, the and the pay rate that they're being paid at. Notice as well there are the system is colour coded, so the senior care assistants are in this lilac colour, the care assistants are in blue, and therefore, if somebody is working within a different job function within the job function you're looking at, you therefore can automatically see that they are working in that alternative job function. So you can see here Tina can work as a senior care assistant as well as a standard care assistant. So therefore during this week she's working entirely as a senior care assistant and therefore the lilac coloured shifts you can see here tell me that and again the tooltip also confirms that fact. Notice also we have some other colours against her. Now they've got a red one here that's because on that Friday she's actually on holiday. If I scroll up the screen we see this one here this is against Lindsay and she's gone sick on that Sunday and you see also the reasons for the, the sickness as well which again you can define for yourself. Continuing this theme we can see Pat here on the Friday is working in the kitchens because normally she would work as a care assistant but on this particular day she's doing a shift in the kitchens. Notice this little orange colour here that means there's a little note sitting behind the shift and that means uh, you can add additional text against any shift for whatever reason. So it could be used um, as the, the equivalent of a request book or it could be used to confirm that yes you've agreed to pay an extra hour as in this case. Other colour codings on here with regard to the staff numbers. So you notice there's some blue and some red. The red means that somebody is being asked to work more than their contracted hours in this view of the rotor, i.e. a week and the blue means that the person is being at the moment given less than their minimum number of hours that you have agreed with them. Now these are simple warnings so you can continue to give that person less those hours and also you can give that person more than the hours if they've gone over their contracted week as well. Notice also these numbers. These numbers indicate the number of hours that the person is actually working in this view of the rotor. So the number at the top I in this one here, 5 hours and 30 minutes, indicates the number of hours that they're working in the job function we're looking at, in this case the care assistant function, and the number in brackets indicates the total number of hours that you're asking this person to work in all the job functions they can do in this week. Notice they've picked up some uh, nighttime shifts and therefore those have been added to the hours in the care assistance function to come to 41 and a half which then as you can see has taken over her contracted hours as well. Further information can be gathered from the rotor just by clicking and using these little icons up here. So if I click on this one here sickness total time this provides a quick overview on the sickness that's been taken uh, so far within this year and who's actually taken that sickness. So if you look at Tina here she has no sickness at all but we look at Claire you can see that particular day she's taken off from last year is appearing here uh, at five and three quarter hours of sickness and confirmation then of the total here with that fact she's been off for one day of sick. So we close that screen. What we also have here is this little uh, palm top icon. So we click on that 
and then you can see by clicking on a particular person we can see how much holiday time they've actually taken in hours and how much they've got left in terms of hours as well. Holiday time can be taken in hours as well as days and the system keeps a track of both. So we close this and return back to the rotor. So to put somebody on a shift it's very easy we just highlight the shift that we want the person to work within the job function so here 8 till 2.15 uh, go to a particular person we want to work that shift and then simply double click and there it appears. So to conclude then, we can see it's very easy to add shifts. The system will keep details of holiday and sickness and indeed training records as well. Obviously staff can work over uh, midnight, can work night shifts. Staff can work in multiple job functions and can be paid at different rates in each of those job functions that they work in. And you can also record contracted hours and be able to monitor those and indeed pay people at extra rates if you wish to if they go over those contracted hours within the system as well. This really just touches the surface of the product as, as a presentation. There's clearly much more to the system in terms of the pay, payroll analysis. Indeed, the uh, monitoring the attendance of staff as well through various um, clocking in machines that we can provide. Um, and through providing that payroll analysis throughout into third-party payroll systems such as Sage and Pegasus, etc. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any further questions, then please contact us either through a website and using the contact details there, or call us on 01892 834406. Thank you again for watching.